Hi, I'm AJ. Thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, if you're not a current subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that like button because you're going to like this video and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Earlier this week on Monday, Apple made an announcement. It's one of their newest products, you could say, uh, a physical product in some manners. Uh, they're coming out with a credit card. They're calling it the Apple card and this is a big change for Apple. They're actually moving into doing more services. And so instead of announcing a phone or some type of new device uh, this earlier this week, they announced that they're actually gonna have a credit card. This credit card is part of a partnership with Goldman Sachs and MasterCard. So we're just gonna get into some of the features of this card and whether or not it should be something that you should apply for or if there's something better out there for you instead of the Apple Card. So what makes the Apple Card different from any other credit card out there? There's, there's really not many major differences uh, between Apple Card and some of the cards that you could find out there. Uh, they have the general benefits that you could get from any credit card or most credit cards. You can get cash back. Uh, you can get additional cash back for making certain types of purchases or purchasing at certain places. So first off, for the maximum benefit of this credit card, uh, you can get 3% cash back by using it at an Apple store or for any of your iTunes purchases. And then that's 3%. The next level would be 2%, which is if you use your card via Apple Pay, you'll get 2% cash back on all of your purchases. And anything outside of that, you would have to use the physical card that they would provide for you. And that physical card will give you 1% cash back on all of your purchases. One of the cool things, and this is really like a one-time thing, so it's not something that you're gonna use on a day-to-day -day monthly basis, is that when you actually apply for the card, you get notified within minutes whether you are approved or not approved. And once you're approved, you can immediately use it. So you don't have to wait a couple weeks or maybe a couple days to get your new card in the mail. You can immediately start using it on your phone via Apple Pay. So of course you need to have an Apple device, an Apple iPhone in order to use this. Uh, you can also use it on your Apple Watch if you have one in conjunction with your iPhone. You can use it immediately at any stores that accept Apple Pay. Now, as far as the physical card, uh, you know, they had to do something a little bit special compared to most cards out there. What they created is a titanium card. So the physical card that you will receive will be made out of titanium. Uh, the only thing that will show on the Apple card is, of course, they'll have the Apple logo. They'll have your name, but there won't be a credit card number. There won't be, you know, the three digit CVV code on the back of the card and there won't be an expiration date. All of that information, if you need to use it, if someone asks you for that information, uh, all of that information is available in your Apple Wallet app where you can actually view the virtual card. Now let's go back to talking about the rewards that you receive, the 3%, the 2% and the 1% cashback. So with that cashback, you'll also have an Apple Cash card so that all of the cash back that you receive will now go to that card. And you can use that card for making any purchases you want. You can also use it to transfer money to friends and family via the messages app. And you can also use it to actually pay your credit card. So any, any purchases that you made, you can actually put that cash back back into the account and that way you pay off your balance sooner. So if you're a person that uses the cash back to pay off your credit card, you can think of that as basically a discount for whatever purchases that you make. So that would be a 1% discount on all of your purchases, a 2% discount if you're using Apple Pay, and a 3% discount on all of your Apple Store and iTunes purchases. And if you don't wanna think about it in that manner as far as a discount, you can think of it as the cash back you're receiving. You can now go and get you know free items with that cash back by any purchases you make using that Apple Cash card. Now I will say one of the great things about their cash back versus most credit cards is that as soon as you purchase something, the cash back percentage that you receive, that dollar amount will go to your Apple Cash card immediately. So at the end of the day, they'll calculate all of the cash back you receive based on all of your purchases. And the next day that money will be available for you to spend or pay down your credit card or to send to a friend or a family member. With most cards, you have to wait maybe a month uh, before you get the credit, or maybe you have to build your cash back up to a specific amount 
maybe it's $25, $50 or $100. And then after that, you can then use that cash back for either getting a gift card or buying items through that credit cards program or to also pay off your credit card. Another great thing about Apple Card is that there are no fees. I put that in quotation because, you know, there's always a catch somewhere. Uh, I only found really one catch that I could find so far. Uh, but as far as what they've stated, there are no late fees. There's no annual fee. There's no penalty interest rate. There are no over limit fees. And there are also no foreign transaction fees. Now, the one fee that I did find is technically not a fee in the sense of, you know, on your credit card itself, but with your cash card, if you wanted to instantly transfer money to someone, you know, making that cash available the same day to a friend or a family member, there is a 1% transaction fee uh, for that transfer. So this is very similar to PayPal and the cash app. If you want your money transferred instantly, either to another person or to your bank account, because you can also transfer it to your own checking account, then there's a 1% fee with a maximum of $10 per transaction. Now, another thing to focus on are the interest rates. So when they made the announcement, they talked about how their interest rates would be the lowest interest rates you could find. And that may be true. Interest rates are really determined based on your credit score. So as far as the availability of the latest or the lowest interest rate, uh, their lowest available interest rate is 13.24%, which is actually pretty low. And it ranges from 13.24% up to 24.24%. Now the average uh, lowest credit card interest rate you can find is around 17%. So that's average for like a very low interest rate. So 13, if you're currently at 17 or higher and you have good credit, then this could be a low in lower interest rate card for you. Now, another great thing is they have financial management features. So if you think of an app like Mint or maybe Personal Capital, apps that you may use to manage your finances and track your transactions. And it'll also categorize all of the transactions for the purchases that you make. So it's pretty good to sh actually see those categories and be able to track you know, where your money is going and what type of categories. Another great thing as far as the financial management is you can actually, you can schedule weekly, bi-weekly or monthly payments. So if most credit cards, as far as scheduling payments, you can only do a monthly schedule um, now, if you're paying weekly or bi-weekly versus monthly, you're going to save on interest rate just by doing that. So let's say you, you know, you normally make a hundred dollar payment, uh, every month. If you were to make four $25 payments, the amount of interest that you would actually save more on interest by making those weekly payments versus waiting until the end of the month to make that payment. So I do like that feature as far as the Apple card, because it allows you to put those scheduled weekly payments. So you don't have to, you know, sign in, you know, I really like to automate things. So that's one great feature from the card. They have a little feature where you can actually like slide on your iPhone and it'll say, okay, I'm paying a hundred dollars. I'm paying $200. I'm paying $300. And based on how much you're paying, they will show you how much you would owe in interest over time. So let's say you have a balance of $1,000 and you only want to pay $100 or make a $100 payment plan. Um, it'll show you how much you would pay over time in interest if you made $100 versus a $200 versus paying off the whole $1,000 for that month. Now for the big question. You now we've talked about the different features of the card. Uh, we've talked about a little bit about comparing it to other credit cards out there. So would I personally apply for the card? I'm going to have to pass on it. I, I would say no. Uh, as far as credit cards out there, there are many other ones that provide either higher cash back, like the CD double cash card gives you 2% cash back on all of your purchases. So as soon as you buy something, you immediately get 1% cash back. And after you pay off that balance, you get the 1% again, once you pay it off. So you get a total of 2% cash back for all of your purchases, no matter what the category is. So as far as a basic credit card, that's a great one because their basic charges, if you're using your physical card, you're only getting 1% with the physical card and you have to use Apple Pay in order to get 2%. With you know the City Double Cash card, you can connect that to your iPhone and use Apple Pay and you get 2% as well. So there's not much of a difference there. You do get the bonus if you're spending money at the, at the Apple store, 
or via iTunes, but you know, you probably want to slow down on some of that spending anyway. You're not going to be buying iPhones and iPods and iPads every month. So, you know, it's great for that one time benefit when you do buy those devices or if you're, you know, paying for services like Apple Music or whatever through iTunes. But if you're not or, if, you know, you don't have a lot of purchases in those categories, then you're better off just getting any other credit card out there. Now, one thing that I was a little surprised that they missed on is that they don't have a sign up bonus. So there are a lot of cards out there where, you know, if you spend a certain amount of dollars within the first two or three months, they'll either give you bonus cash back, which could be, you know, $250, $500, maybe even $1,000, or you would get rewards points. You know, if it's a travel rewards card, you could get points towards a flight. Uh, there's no sign up bonuses, so there's really no benefit for people to rush and go ahead and get that Apple card. More than likely, you may have a card that gives you cash back already. So unless you're specifically going to try to get the lower interest rate, uh, that would be the only reason that someone may rush out to get it. Or maybe you just want a titanium card and that sounds really cool to have that titanium credit card and you know to see a card that doesn't have any numbers on it. But other than that, as far as like the actual features that you're getting from it, there's not much that Apple is providing for you that other credit cards aren't providing for you. And you can link those credit cards to Apple Pay and it's the same as you would use the credit card through Apple, also through Apple Pay. Now there are some slight improvements as far as security. Because the physical card doesn't have a credit card number on it, or a sig or uh, I forgot to mention this as well, it doesn't have a signature panel, so you don't have to sign the card. There's nowhere to sign it. So if you were to lose your Apple card, uh, it's very hard for anyone to be able to use it because your information is not on there, your card number is not there, your signature is not there, uh, versus other cards out there. If you lose it, chances are someone will be able to use it because they have those numbers. If you ever need those numbers, it's actually in your phone. So it's more important to make sure that you don't lose your phone. So those were the biggest areas that I could find as far as the announcement of the Apple card. Uh, it's not something that I plan on getting. Uh, there are many cards out there that can give you better cashback rewards or maybe even travel rewards bonus points. So if you're looking specifically for some type of reward with that card, uh, it's not really standing out compared to others. So I don't plan on getting it. I also don't shop at Apple stores that often. So, you know, getting that 3% cash back is not a huge deal. You know, there are sometimes deals at stores like Best Buy or maybe even Target, you know, when Apple products come out. I also don't mind uh, buying used products. So I'll go on Craigslist or on eBay and I'll buy iPads or an iPhone. So getting that brand new phone from the Apple store or that brand new iPad and getting a 3% discount, it's not a game changer for me. So I don't really see any reasons that Apple has announced that makes me want to go out right now and get that Apple card. So maybe they'll make some improvements. Maybe they'll add some more features. Maybe they'll increase the cash back. Probably not because, you know, their rewards are pretty standard. Uh, the only thing that really stands out is that daily cash back. And even with that, you know, it's not a huge deal. I can wait a month for my cash back. So with that said, uh, make sure you guys leave comments. Are you going to go out and get the Apple card? If so, why? You know, what was the feature that made you want to go out and get it right now? Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you're not a current subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. And if you're already a subscriber, really appreciate you being a subscriber. Thanks for watching this video. You guys have a great day. Thanks.